I think it was two years ago that I had my first, what I would call a mental breakdown. I wasn't entirely sure what was happening at the time. I just know there was a moment when I sat down to do some work. It was in the middle of the day and I noticed that there was this just creeping sense of just dread and fear and anxiety. And then all of a sudden things started, like reality started looking, like appearing differently to me. I started seeing things were warping and changing and very, were, were seeming very unusual. To me, I didn't know that this was actually just dissociation, which is a normal form of the mind kind of protecting itself from stressful situations and anxiety and stuff. I thought I was losing my mind. So that caused me to resist what was happening, like resist my own emotions to such a degree where it was this resistance that made things way worse. And then over the course of that month, which was actually March, it's March right now, which is quite interesting, but it was actually March of two years ago that was one of the most challenging months of my entire life. It was the darkest period of my life. And all these emotions were coming up. Uh, I didn't know left from sideways. And the worst part of it is that I didn't even know if this was gonna end. I didn't know if I was gonna get better. I didn't know if I was gonna feel better. I didn't know how long this was gonna last. I didn't know if, it, if this was gonna get worse. It was an extremely tough time. There's a few things that I really needed to hear. There are some things that during that period I learned, some things that they gave, they gave me like a brief comfort in a very dark time. And if someone else could have just told me these things, someone who I trusted, someone who I like, who I trusted with my well-being, then it would have alleviated it a little bit. So I wanted to make a video today just to give you some of the things. There's four things in particular that I've narrowed it down to that will help you if you're going through a really, really tough period. The first thing to remember is that growing is painful. Growing is a challenge sometimes. Personal growth is not easy. There's an idea in psychology, the technical term for it is positive disintegration. It's this idea that if you wanna grow, if you wanna reach a new state of being and a new state of authenticity with who you really are, then you need to actually go through phases where you disintegrate, where you feel like it's a destruction, like it's a crumbling of who you thought you were, of ideas that you had before, of ways of behaving that are not actually authentic to you, and this process can feel like a death sometimes. It can feel like a struggle, a pain, chaos. It can feel like you don't know who the hell you are anymore. And that uncertainty and not knowing can itself just, it can make you anxious. It can make you resist the process, make you afraid. But this process is necessary. As a snake grows, it has to shed its old skin. This process is probably really uncomfortable to a snake. A snake doesn't complain about it. You never see a snake going, fucking hell, I can't stand this. But it's necessary for a snake to grow into the snake that it needs to become. Right now, maybe you're shedding your skin. So see if you can relax into it. The emotional turmoil. See if you can relax into it as much as you can and just allow it to do its work on you and allow it to, to change you. The next thing is to acknowledge that this will not last forever. And I know you hear this a lot. You hear like, oh, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. You hear this everywhere, right? But I want you to just really settle into the truth of this. You've been through tough periods before. You've been through challenging experiences, probably more challenging than this in the moment, or maybe not. But regardless, whatever you've been through, it never lasted, did it? It never stayed the same. That's the good thing about reality. Reality always changes. And that can be really good sometimes because if we're going through a shit period, it's like, oh, I can't wait for this to change. But it can also be a little bit jarring and frustrating. Like for example, the, the post nut clarity after an amazing orgasm. But no matter how bad things get, it's impossible for them to stay that way. It might take a few days, it might take a few months, it might even take a few years. But one thing is certain, one day, you will wake up and you won't even really remember the stuff that you're going through right now, at least not in the way that you think you will, because you would have overcome it. You've grown, you've learned the lessons, you've moved on to something else. You could even try enjoying this phase a little bit. For example, I'm kind of determined to try playing the harmonica the next time I have a panic attack, just, just for a laugh. The third thing is to give yourself permission to not be okay. Sometimes in life, we're just not okay. And this is absolutely not only normal and okay, but it's inevitable. But do you know the one thing that turns normal 
run-of-the-mill not okayness into pure mental fuckery, it's trying to pretend that you're okay, even when you're absolutely not. Fake it till you make it might work for a presentation or going and approaching an attractive stranger or whatever, but when it comes to the deeper, personal growth breakthroughs that you experience on this journey of self-actualization, fake it till you make it is resistance. It is act, trying to act like you're okay, but you aren't. So feel free to tell the people close to you, look, I'm not okay right now. And if you don't have anybody, try posting it online and just see how that feels. What you might find is that just by expressing it and letting, letting go of the pretenses and just being with yourself as you are, you might find that that reduces a lot of the resistance that seems to make this worse. And thing number four is to take care of yourself. Breakthroughs on your personal growth journey, sometimes they're amazing and there's no downside. Sometimes they're amazing, but they can leave you feeling vulnerable. And sometimes a breakthrough can be harsh. One thing that you don't hear talked about very often is the effect that they have on your body. It's like sometimes that you've gone, you've gone in the emotional gym and the psychological and the spiritual gym and you've done a serious workout. And this can leave your body physically tired, exhausted and screwed up. So if you're not sleeping very well, if you're not drinking enough water and eating fairly well and stuff like that, if you're not doing the things that you know help make you happier, this becomes way more important. It makes it way more difficult to navigate these periods. So when you're going through a really tough time, a dark night of the soul, for example, then coming back to the fundamentals is 10 times more important to navigate a difficult period. Will they fix it? Maybe not. But will it help? Yeah. And maybe that's enough. You are going to get through this. Right now, you're just shedding this old skin. You're becoming more and more true to who you really are, more authentic. If you can just slow down, if you can breathe, if you can allow what's coming up to do its work on you, to change, if you can step out of your own way and just let this stuff change and transform you, then you will be better for it. You'll navigate this with grace, you'll come through and you'll be, you'll feel way better, more authentic than you did before. I want to read to you a quote from a Zen teacher, Joko Beck. We have to face the pain we have been running from. In fact, we need to learn to rest in it and let its searing power transform us. So with that in mind, I wish you courage. Courage to face the pain and let it transform you. Take care, my friend, and I will see you soon. Peace.